with the digital components and our social well-being. How many of us here have WhatsApp? Where do not have Telegram? When was the last time you used your phone to directly call someone abroad? There is no WhatsApp that you use. Then you use your hand-hand call to make a call abroad. Uh, even if it's kind that you use WeChat. You see, one of the benefits from the health perspective is that digital, yeah, digital access has encouraged social connectivity. And we know that we need connectivity to thrive. Do we agree with that? We have to connect with our friends, our loved ones, we're looping to meetings. I'm not even going to Zoom, we're just the ones that we have on our phone for our day to day. How many of us here have sent to us that people here that I'm at week 2024, I'm chatting, you're sending pictures, we're doing all of that. So it's helping us to earn Currency, which in a very way applicable, well being mentally and physically. So that's one of the benefits. Now we're talking about the pros of digital access to our health. But what are the cons? Because for every side of the coin, there's a flip side. What could be the disadvantage of this? It can be very addictive. Do you agree with me? I found myself one time that I was spending like almost five hours on social media. I'm not posting though. I'm just observing other people living their lives. How many people have done that before? <laughs> and then you're angry at yourself that tomorrow I must not do this. And then tomorrow will come a day and you will repeat, raise, and do the same process. So I had to make intentional adjustments. It can be very addictive to have so much access to that. For some of us as well, because most of these tools are devices that we hold close to our eyes, it can also, and in your state, not even on your laptop, in your screen time, can also have negative effects on our eyesight. So those are the uh, side effects or cons of some of these digital accesses. If I don't leave you with anything today, is when you remember this conversation that I'm a digital woman, I need what? I'm a digital woman, I need what? Rest. A digital woman needs rest. Too many women do not rest. In fact, in practice, what I found is that most women, when they are not, when they don't have work to do, they create work for themselves. I, I mean, I fall into that category so, uh, a lot of times. And this is what I mean: when you leave your office or your business and you get home, you cannot sit down. You see that you are curating work for other people, whether your children, people living in your house, or you are curating work for yourself. When you lie down, you cannot rest. Your brain is going to do at work tomorrow at your business. Rest is very important. And this is because for women, the highest cause of death and complications is heart-related issues, which we call cardiovascular issues. So when you first understand that your calling or the work you're doing, it's sort of like, you know, if you look at a fish, fish bone approach, you are tackling some part of it. You are not taking care of the whole problem. So that's just sort of helps to put things in perspective for you to understand that you need your rest. Now, once you're mentally prepared for that, how else do you rest? To-do list has been very important for a lot of women. So you know the things that must be done, things that should be done, do things that could be done. So you sort of categorize your work. Now, the digital woman needs checkup. What did I say? The digital woman needs checkup. Everybody needs to check up. But since I'm in this space and I'm celebrating my women, every woman, I'm going to, if you have a phone or something, you can note it down. These are the things that every woman must know about her body and health. It doesn't matter what your age, how old you are, because I've also seen young ladies or young women or young ones that sort of have some health challenges. A digital woman must know their weight and height. What did I say? Weight and height. If I know it does not mean you are going to solve the problem because you know this weight loss is a lifelong challenge for those of us that are part of it. But every digital woman must know 
what they weigh relative to their height, so you can know your uh, BMI and you keep an eye on it so that you really need that moment. So I'm going to wrap up by asking a question about what is the one thing that I said a digital woman needs the most. Is there a digital woman here that wants a free checkup? Is there a digital woman that wants a free checkup? If you have stand up, it's one, it's not one for one. It's not one that's the only one. So you can't have you can have a free checkup. Thank you very much everyone.